In today's video, we are going to use AI agent to generate Google Slides. So when we execute, it will ask us for the topic, slide name, let's make it as AI and no code for business in 2025. Topic to cover, number of slides, let's make it as seven, click on submit, and you can see that it's actually running. So the slides is ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see how do we build this from scratch. Hello and welcome to day 38 of the NA10 series. And in today's video, let's see how do we build an agent that can generate Google Slides based on the topic that you choose. So let's get started. So to begin with, let's go with form. So NA10 form and on new NATN form event, right? So we'll give the title as generate Google Slides and we need a few elements. So that can be by the name, which is text, required field, topic to cover, which is again text and required field. We will need number of slides, which is a number field, again required. So once we add these three fields, we can go to execute step. It'll open the form and let's say an add and slide generator. Topic to cover, no code and AI in business in 2025. Okay. Number of slides, let's say seven and click on submit. Okay, so the form is submitted. We have got the details. Let's get it over here. The next step is going to be Google Slides. And uh, we have few actions like get a page, get the thumbnail for the page, uh, create a presentation, get a presentation, get slides from a presentation, replace text in the presentation. What we need is create a presentation. And uh, like we've already seen with Google Sheets or Google Docs, we cannot create an account directly. Okay, we'll have to use the client ID and client secret, which I've already shown how to do in one of the previous videos. Okay, so we will select uh, one of the accounts which we have already created. The resource is going to be presentation and operation is going to be create. Title is coming from this one, which is slide name. Okay, let's click on execute step. And there you go. We've got the presentation created. We'll look into that in a short while. Next up, we're going to use AI agent and this is going to be defined below because the prompt is going to be given by us and so this is going to be the prompt that is you are an AI presentation builder given the topic okay so topic is going to come from our form so let's just hide this get it from here topic to cover is this one so let's drag it and drop it here slide count is going to be the slide count from here. Generate a slide by slide breakdown of slide titles and bullet points in JSON format. Each slide should contain a title, subtitle, and at least five detailed bullet points. Now this could be five, three, or whatever we need, right? So format is title, subtitle, and bullets. Okay. So once we have this, just click on execute step. And before that, We'll have to connect the chat node, chat model. And we're going to use OpenAI model here. It can be 4.0 or even 5 for that matter. Once it is connected, just click on execute. We should have the output ready. So we've got the output here. You can see that we have got something like this and we should not have this because otherwise the next step will not move further. So let's add something here, which is like, don't add any supporting text in the response like uh, JSON or so, right? And let's run this and there you go. So this is how the response should be for us. Okay. Now this is not in proper JSON format. What I mean is output is a text. Okay. And this is JSON. So we need just the JSON. And that's why what we're going to do is we're going to add a very simple code. The code will be provided to you in the description. So just use the same code. 
okay and i'll show you how this varies right so let's go to table and you see that this is the output that we had got previously and the same thing is formatted in proper json format okay and this is what we need now we are going to loop over items so we've got one two three four five six and seven right so we've got uh, seven items like we asked for and we're going to do one at a time and as replace me so we'll just remove this now we are going to search for google slides i'll show you what are the options available get a page get the thumbnail for a page create a presentation get a presentation get slides from a presentation replace text in a presentation we don't have any option to create pages right or slides and that's why what we are going to do is we are going to use http okay and uh, this is going to be post okay we can also search for google slides api let's go here and uh, this is the service end endpoint and uh, what we need is this one okay so we we'll copy this let's go here it's a post method you have to add this and prior to this we need to add the service endpoint so just copy and paste it over here now it also requires the presentation id so the presentation id is going to be this one which is coming from step two so let's just put this over okay so it went somewhere we'll just copy this and paste it after this one okay and uh, authentication is going to be predefined credential type this is going to be google slides oauth 2 api okay and uh, we'll use the same account that we have used in the previous step okay and we need to enable the body and this will be json using json and the json will be coming over here and json is going to be this way let me open it and show you so request create slide object id is slide run index okay slide layout reference so we'll again give this in the description so that you can just copy paste okay run index is so when we are looping over run index we keep updating right so it will begin with zero then one two and so on so forth Okay, so everything else is uh, just the same, just that the run index will change. Okay, you can see it's the same thing, right? Just over here, JSON logo name. Okay, this needs to change. And this is just whatever logo you need in your slides. I'll quickly show you what that is. So this can be a static text as well. And in our case, let's put n810.io red7.com or abcd.red7.com whatever we okay and um, so we have uh, item json title so whatever title we have over here that we get added and um, likewise we have subtitle and then we also have our bullet points okay so that is how we are going to uh, add this. Okay, so that's the slide. Let's click on execute step. And there you go. So one of the slide is created. The next step, we're going to add a weight just to ensure that the next slide has good time to process. Let's just add this two seconds of delay. Bad request. Why is it a bad request? Okay, some issue here. Did we have some issues here? Okay, URL is fine. Let's check anything here. This is good. Yeah, so we had run, we had already run the zeroth index, and that's what it is saying. So that's fine. Let's add this weight and we will run the entire flow all over again, right? So this will create all the slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this all over again. It will ask me the sliding and we're going to say AI 
and no code or business in 2025 okay i'm just going to copy paste the same thing for topic to cover number of slides let's say seven click on submit and you can see that it has already started working on slide generation so first item is running second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh there you go let's quickly check if this has got created and there you go so you can see introduction to ai and no code right so understanding the foundation overview of ai defining no code historical evolution and milestones in ai and no code current landscape ai and no code in 2023 i don't know why 2023 when he asked for 2025 significance for business right uh the state of ai in 2025 then the rise of no code platforms ai and no code in business strategy then challenges and opportunities uh real world applications and finally the future of ai and no code in business okay pathways and predictions for 2025 so five bullet points right so this is the uh, slide that has got created for us uh, so one of the things that we love to check here is when we create the slides okay using uh, this one presentation it will have one of the default slides okay which uh, will not get deleted okay we can either delete it uh, manually or we can actually run a workflow to delete the first slide but anyways that's not a real problem one of the other things that we can do here is when we have the ai agent run sometimes we may get error so when we run coding javascript sometimes we may get error and if we get error instead of stopping it what we can do is we can say continue using error output okay and what this does is we'll get one more output here it's another branch basically and here we can add a if condition and we can call the run index okay and if you want to use the run index then we'll have to firstly go here and say uh retry on fail and we can mention what is the maximum retries okay so we can give it up to three or something like that and if we have issue there right then let's go here run index is greater than or equals to let's say three okay greater than or equals to let's use that okay so if that's the uh if that condition is true then we will run this again so basically what we have done here is if the code for some reason does not work okay to convert this output into a uh, proper json then we will try it up to three times okay so retry on fail so if it fails one time it will run again 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 so it runs for three times even after that if it does not work out then what we're going to do is we're going to run this ai agent again so that it can generate slightly uh, different output and hence hoping that this will run successfully this time this is a fallback option that we have added just so that the generation normally happens just click on save and we are ready so that's how you can generate google slides just using simple logic on an editor. of course there are some codes that they've used but it's just a copy paste for you isn't it and yes we agree that all the slides look the same but it's better than not having anything right you're just giving a prompt on the topic and it is able to generate the slides that you're looking for we can also use some complex agents like we did for video to blog or video to newsletter which can actually generate better content but we wanted to keep it simple and that's why we made it with simple flows i hope you enjoyed this video and if so 
please share it with others so that they can see how we can automate generating Google Slides with such simple workflows. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.